Hello and welcome this Saturday, August 15th. I'm Jackie Hansen, a member of the First United Methodist Church of Orange. This morning, I would like to share with you some of my thoughts on accepting and helping others in need. Psalms 9 says, O Lord, I will praise you with all my heart and tell everyone about the marvelous things that you do. I will be glad, yes, filled with joy because of you. I will sing your praises, O Lord God, above all gods. I find that I sometimes need to think of uh, what I am doing and I get a little anxious because I feel I cannot fix the needs of others, which really I'm not supposed to fix, but that in my mind, that's what comes forth. And I was at the church office picking up some papers a week or so ago and when I came out, there was a young woman on a bicycle carrying several lunches. I asked if I could help her, and she said, Oh, no, thank you. I'm taking this to the park to my friends. Upon further discussion, I found out she went places to get food for 14 people every day who were at the Hart Park, and they were there each day, some on bicycles, <clears throat> some just walking, from 7 or 8 a.m. to dark. They had no homes and had formed this group to meet and spend the day together. She said they discussed all things in this group. I asked if religion and beliefs were part of the discussion. She said, oh yes, we have many different opinions, but we all get along, which in itself is a big lesson for all of us to learn. She felt they were believers in God, but believed in different ways and she was very happy to have a group to discuss and be with. I told her we would love to have her come and join us at the church service sometime and bring any of the people who wanted to come. She said that would be nice, but they were all so comfortable out in the open, she was sure, not sure they would want to be inside. I mentioned perhaps we could meet with her at the park. I plan to follow up on this and hope we can do something like this. I've been by a couple of times, but I have not seen them. They're in different areas of the park, but I'll keep looking. Now, I plan to go in to pick up the papers at the church the next day, but somehow or other than I got up, I thought, you know, I better do that today. And if I had not gone then, I would not have seen her. I'm also glad I took the opportunity to talk to her. These opportunities are all around us and they happen at the most unexpected times. Let's all take advantage of whatever comes our way to be there for others. And sometimes listening or a phone call is just what is needed. They say blessings are the sweetest that are one with prayer and worn with thanks. Each person's God-given gifts are different from those of another. Acts 20, 20 verse 35 says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Let us pray. Please God, be with us and help us to accept the differences in each other, to love you and welcome you into our lives and always be aware of the need of others. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with us today. Now be sure and wash your hands, wear a mask, and always tell someone you love them.